the home of Tennessee's best newscast. This is News Channel 11 at 5. I think he's a good coach, and I hope they get this cleared up at least. Buccaneer fans react after East Tennessee State University placed head football coach Randy Sanders on paid administrative leave. Tonight, many are wondering about the state of Buck football. I'm Sarah Diamond. I'm Josh Smith. We first told you about ATSU's decision to place head football coach Randy Sanders on paid administrative leave this morning on WJHL.com and in a live report today at noon. A one sentence statement from ETSU's Office of University Relations said the investigation surrounding Sanders involves potential violation of university policy. When we asked uh, from the president to the athletics director what university policy, the school declined to comment. The new, News Channel 11 spent the day digging into the Sanders investigation and his coaching background. We're in your corner with team coverage tonight. We begin with Carissa Winstead on the ETSU campus with how ETSU fans are reacting to Sanders being placed on leave. Yeah, guys, a lot of people here on campus didn't see this news coming. In fact, as I was walking around campus today, students here I spoke with didn't even know that Sanders was placed on administrative leave until I told them. When East Tennessee State University freshman Caleb Anderson heard that Randy Sanders was hired as the new head football coach back in December. I was pretty excited, you know, somebody from Morristown showing up. A mutual feeling from a lot of people in the region. 14 Wanda, 14 Wanda. Sanders is a name Anderson's familiar with because they went to the same high school in Morristown. He's actually a pretty big legend over there. Um, he holds like most of the quarterback records and whatnot. But on Monday, ETSU announced that Sanders has been placed on administrative leave because of a potential violation of university policy. No other details were released, leaving students and fans wondering what happened. I always thought he was like an all, all right dude. I didn't think he had any, like any scandals to him. If he has any scandals, I don't know. Maurice Lane says he's a walk on for the football team and was surprised to hear the news. Man, he's a great guy. I hope all this stuff passes so we can move on. We too focus on the, you know, and we can't do anything without him. You know, he's like the biggest part of our team and we really need him, so. The team's first game is just over four months away. That's why students and players are hoping to see this worked out soon. He's, he's going to change this program around. I mean, I can already tell in practice how, like, how competitive we are, how hype we are, and just like without him there, I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't know how it's going to be without him. I think he's a good coach and I hope they get this cleared up at least. And of course, a lot of questions still remain tonight about the future of this program. Now, coming up tonight at 6, I speak with people out in the community to get their reactions about the news. Reporting live from ETSU, Carissa Winstead, News Channel 11, in your corner.